Hello, today I shall be explaining you how to describe the X-ray subsonic lateral view. First and foremost, we should know if the X-ray is plane or contrast. X-ray of the neck are usually plain X-rays, so we should tell it is a plane X-ray. Then, if it is taken for cervical spine or for soft tissue neck, to look for the foreign bodies in the neurodigestive tract, we always require the soft tissue neck. Therefore, plain X-ray, soft tissue neck. Now, the view comes. Either it is lateral view or AP view. This is lateral view X-ray. In the neck, we do X-ray of the neck AP view, not PA view, because the esophagus is posteriorly located structure. Therefore, the view is always anterior posterior. But in the chest, the view is posterior anterior view or PA view. Therefore, plain X-ray, soft tissue neck either AP or lateral or AP plus lateral view. Now let's read this X-ray. This X-ray is plain X-ray, soft tissue neck, lateral view. Done. Now, to see the structures, always come from upwards to downwards, upwards to below. So, important thing here is to find out the mandible. This is the mandible, which is upward located. And this is the skull base or lower part of the base, skull. And coming posteriorly, you can see the cervical vertebral bodies along with the spines. C1 vertebral spine is not present. C1 is the does not have spine. That is the as of the first cervical vertebrae that is atlas. This is the as first. This is one and two C2. Then there is a disc space C3, C4, C5, C6, C7. This is most important way to count. C7, as you see here, is also called as vertebral prominence because this prominent so it is spine here. Therefore, count the, count the cervical vertebral bodies from upwards down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, like that. And you have to see the soft tissue entry to the cervical vertebral body. You can see here the soft tissue and this is the air side of the trachea and larynx upper to lower. Is the hyoid bone. So we have to see any red apex arrow in the pre vertebral region. So this is the vertebral body as you see here, and this is the soft tissue. And you can see here this is a linear arrow, linear red apex arrow, which corresponds to the human bone. This is the bone. Therefore, probably this is a foreign body in the erodized tract or probably in the esophagus, as you see, the lower region of the sixth. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So in the lower border almost. So this primary is in the upper esophagus or in the cubopharynx level. You should explain like that. Now let me explain. This is the plain x ray, soft tissue neck, lateral view, showing the mandible, higher bone, upper part of the head, along with the cervical vertebral bodies, counting from C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, C6, C7. This is the pre vertebral soft tissue shadow and this is the trifle shadow or aerodic shadow. In this x ray, I can see a linear radio back shadow which corresponds to human bone and is in adjacent to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 cervical vertebral bodies. So, probably this foreign body is in the cubopharynx. But as you see here, this is not lower down. So, this foreign body might be in at the level of 5 plus minus 2. So on your x ray you should explain like this. Then the teacher will ask you how will you remove this foreign body. So we have to tell rigid esophagoscopy or hypopharyngoscopy and foreign body removal under ZA with instrumentation or forceps. Most of the students in the exam they tell rigid esophagoscopy and foreign body removal. Only esophagoscopy does not remove the foreign body. Esophagoscopy is used to visualize the foreign body. And instrumentation is to pull down, pull out of the foreign body through the either cricopharynx or from parietal sinus or from the esophagus. Thank you. Thank you very much.